have you followed your passion of food through the internet? So I created an online cooking show. It's called mm Me Gusta. And it's about um, just me in my kitchen with my cat and my tripod. And I just, I just love to cook. What's and your so, favorite thing to cook? Um, I love cooking Latin food because that's what I was raised with. And, um, but I love to try all kinds of different types of Latin food from Chile, Argentina, things like that. But my specialty is Mexican food. Okay. And I love to cook, cook uh, my favorite dish is entomatadas, which is like enchiladas but different and so much better. Now, uh, how do you interact with um, people online? Um, I try to find people that are passionate about the same things I am, which is food and video blogging. Because uh, that's new to me. My show just started in August 2009, so I'm learning all about that. So um, I interact with them by just we discuss what's going on on the internet in terms of food, whether it's about events or a new product that came out, or things like and, that. Um, so uh, do you uh, do you, you know engage on other people's blogs? Sure. Or absolutely. I think that's essential. It's all about sharing the love. One of my favorite cooking shows online is um, Bitch in Kitchen with Nadia G. And she's from Canada and she's this Italian, like this little fireball and I love her to death. And so I, I definitely go to her Facebook or her Twitter and I, you know, we chat, so. And how, how uh, often do your interactions online turn into interactions in real life? Actually today um, was an example of that. I met on One Tim Street, which is a, a pretty big video a producer. Um, he does a lot of viral video content. He made um, French maids. And so I met him. We've been talking a little bit through Twitter because I saw some of his feeds and I wanted to, I thought he was an interesting person I should get to know. And after just engaging with him for a couple of months through Twitter, uh, we met today and we just had lunch. He gave me some great advice for my show. And so. what was that advice? Um, it was to just keep it real, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs>